Welcome to the Bentley Luminar T building tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the following topics. Exporting a file from MicroStation to create a live cube, adding characters and vehicles, adding lights, exporting Luminar T proxies from MicroStation, creating videos and images, and finally, creating a published live cube. Begin by unpacking the building project PZIP package and then loading the building project MicroStation DGN file. To unpack a PZIP file, the first thing we're going to do is to create a folder called Building Project and then extract the contents into the folder. Now just double click on the PZIP file, browse to the folder, and click Extract. Here is the model inside of MicroStation Connect. Let's turn off the tree level and then export the entire scene into Luminar T. To export from Luminar T Connect, Select the Visualization menu, and then the Luminar T tab, and then click Export. Here we are now inside of the Luminar T Real-Time Live Cube. Let's change the sun position by going to the Atmosphere menu and changing the time of day. Now I'm going to load a different background terrain by going to the Terrain menu and loading the Mountains preset. Let's begin to add some life to the scene by placing some characters. Go to the Characters menu, select a range of standing characters, and then start adding them one by one. After adding several characters, select the Brush tool and then paint in several groups of characters. Now let's add a single walking character and then create a custom walk path. First I will delete the original walk path and then create a new one using the Object Animation Path tool. Select the Path Drawing tool and then start placing waypoints where you want the character to walk. Close the path by selecting the Close Path icon. Let's add a few vehicles starting with some stationary cars in the parking spaces. Select a range of vehicles and then start placing them in one by one. Holding the left mouse button down allows you to rotate the vehicle in place. Using the Object Path Animation tool, let's create a vehicle animation path. Add the vehicle, select the Path Animation tool, and then draw the path. Close the path using the Close Path icon and then adjust the speed to your liking. Let's save what we have up to this point by using the File Save button and then exit the scene. When a scene is saved, by default, it goes into your Documents, Eon Software, Luminar T folder. The Luminar T file is saved with a .lrt extension. You'll also notice there's a .bak file, which is a backup of the previous version of the Luminar T file. If for any reason you wish to revert to the previous version of the Luminar T Live Cube, Simply rename the .bak file with a .lrt extension. Back in MicroStation, let's enable all the lights by bringing up the Light Manager and then shift selecting all the point lights and enabling them. After they are enabled, let's re-export to Luminar T. Back in Luminar T, let's switch to Nighttime by going to Atmospheres and clicking on the Sun switch. Once again, let's save the Luminar T file and quit. Returning to MicroStation, let's add some Luminar T proxy plants. To do this, switch to a top view, then go to Luminar T, Load Cell Library, and then display the cell library. Now go ahead and add a few date palms to the model. Next, we're going to use the Global Replace tool to replace the tree mesh objects with Luminar T proxies. Turn the tree layer on and then bring up the Global Replace tool. Set the Update method to Replace, the Mode to Global, then click Use Active Cell. Then let's select the Luminar T ash tree as a replacement proxy.
Now let's repeat the process for the remaining trees and this time use the Luminar T birch tree as the replacement proxy. Go ahead and re-export back into Luminar T. And here we are again back in Luminar T and you can see the trees have come across. And let's go here and adjust some of the lighting parameters by going to the atmospheric tab and adjusting the time of day and the season. Let's brush in a few flowers by going to the plant tab, selecting a range of flowers and then using the brush tool and brush them directly onto the ground. Now let's go ahead and add some seasonal trees to the scene. We'll go ahead and paint these by going back into the browser, deselecting and deleting the flower collection, and then creating a new collection of small seasonal trees. Let's grab those, let's adjust the scale here a bit, and then go ahead and paint them in. To see the seasonality of the trees, go back into the Atmospheres tab and play with the seasonality slider. Let's create a video of this scene by going to the video menu and adding a movie clip. You add keyframes by simply moving the camera to a different point of view and then clicking the add keyframe button. You can enter in the time between keyframes by going to the transition arrows and entering in a value. Once you have the video set the way you like, you can now export the video using the export options as shown here. Here you can set the export resolution, the quality, the type of video encoder, and the desired frame rate. Let's take a look now at how to publish a complete interactive Luminar T Live Cube. Go to the File menu and select Publish Live Cube. Here you can set various publishing options, add logos, and indicate which platforms you'd like to publish to either Windows, Macintosh, or both. Once the live cube is published, you can test it out by simply double-clicking on it. And here now is the published live cube, which contains all the features and functionality of the authoring live cube, but of course this is read-only. Your clients and colleagues can view the video paths you created or interactively walk through the live cube themselves and examine any point of view in real time.